All right, good day. Welcome, loves. Welcome, Scorpio. This is going to be your reading. So let's see what we have for the Scorpio Collective. All right. Let's get them shuffled a little bit here. For the Scorpios. It's a big stack. Got a glimpse of the happiness. All right. For Scorpio. Last shuffle and we'll get to it here. All right. Obviously, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share. It does help with the algorithms, comment, etc. Blah, 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 blah. Humor. Oh, and the friendship card. All right, Scorpio. Okay, so obviously there are friends that are coming into your life for a reason. All right. Um, I feel like also you bring in a lighter side of life. For um, your friends, we have to change here. So you're, you're here to change people, all right? By showing them a different side of light, life, right? To focus on the lighter side and not the negative side, all right? Not the heaviness that we have out here in the world. All right, so let's get for Scorpio here for the friendship, the humor, and the change. So obviously, to make change, we have to have movement, right? So the way you're going to do that in Scorpio's viewpoint, when it comes to just this one thing, is seeing and choosing to see the lighter side of life. All right? That's when you're going to see beautiful things blossom in your life. All right? So let's do two more shuffles here. I just saw the Queen of Cups. All right, let's give her Scorpio here for the friendship, the humor, and the change, please. We have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's that lighter side of life. All right, um, because it's like, why does this card do that? Anyway, the Knight of Wands here. But yeah, I mean, it's like, just enjoy, live life, have fun, run free, all right? Do what brings goodness into your soul, into the soul of others also. So I feel like you're teaching people to just, you know, just enjoy life, you know, be adventurous, have fun, all right? Go for the things that you want in life. All right, the things that fuel you um, passionately wise or pa whatever, fuel you, fuel you passionately. All right, it's like, you know, she just living her best life here. Having fun, laughing, smiling. I mean, them are very important things in life. <clears throat> so you're a humorous friend, Scorpio. All right. Or maybe there's a friend coming into your life to show you this. <clears throat> and understanding nothing can grow or evolve if you don't have movement. So let's get some more for the Knight of Wands here with the friendship and the humor and the change. It's about taking action and making the changes that are necessary. All right. So people come and go. We have the Page of Wands. Look at all that fiery energy here. And then we have the Two of Wands. It's like, I feel like you <clears throat> helps you help people see beyond. All right, to have a vision. This is a confirmation message. All right, to just, I mean, these, they just look like they're having fun. Right? They don't look like a stick in the mud. You don't always gotta take life so serious. So they came, they come into your life and they bring good messages. They bring good vibes. Oh, there you are, Scorpio. I knew I got a I knew I thought I got a glimpse of that. Alright, so yeah, you're here to transform people, change their lives for the better of their lives. Because, like I said, when you focus on the lighter side, because, like, 
people's brains are so quick to like focus on the dark side of things, the negative side of things, the heavy side of things, instead of the good things, right? Like fuck all that goddamn ugly shit. I want to have a good vibe life. Be loud, be, be vibrant, have fun. Go for the things that your heart desires. Go for the things that ignite your soul, right? And set it on fire. And just have fun. But obviously, you know, be responsible too. We have the Four of Cups here. All right. So, yeah, it's like you make people think. You make people contemplate their lives. Where they are, what they want to be, who they want to be, where they wish they were in life. All right. And it's like the answer is here. This is the answer. Live beautifully. Embrace the magic. All right. See the lighter side of things with all of that here. Let's try that again. That was a few. Hermit. Yeah, you make people go in deep and think. Oh my God. We have the lovers, the empire, the empire, <laughs> the emperor and the queen of cups here. Wow, that was freaking weird. That felt weird. So with the emperor here, yeah, you're here to teach people that, you know what, you rule your life. You're in charge of your life. You make your life the way it is. Build the life that you want. Be with the one that you love. Be with the one where there's passion, lust, desire, emotion, nurturing, love, empathy, compassion, and understanding. It's like the best of both worlds. Who got something like this Virgo? Somebody you can communicate with, you know, and have a balanced conversation, a very equal conversation. You're showing people how to get their priorities in check. And, you know, to follow their own voice, that intuition. We have the Two of Cups, yeah. And, you know, to also accept that, you know, even if you have different backgrounds, you can still make it work. You can still build a beautiful life here. It's all about the energy, right, that you guys have. So somebody might be darker skinned because we got, it could be, yeah, dark, one dark, one lighter, lighter skinned. Yeah, keep pushing towards the things that bring fulfillment to your life here. Join forces with those that you feel a really strong divine spiritual connection to that can help better yourselves so i feel like this friendship is turning into like a lover situation like you guys are like bound to be together because with the lovers and the two of cups here this is a divine love it isn't just learning to love yourself and having self-worth and self-respect it's about having that divine counterpart next to you during your journey understanding you riding along with you like i tell people like if you cannot be your person's best friend like on both sides and do things that you both love to do why are you even wasting time you know you have to be able to have similar interests similar things it can't just be this one-sided thing where only one we got to do what this the woman wants or the man depending on the situation like you got to have interests like me, I love to go on nature drives. I love to go on little adventures, hiking, stuff like that. I just like being outdoors, you know, and just embracing nature that's all around. You know, I'm not big on clubbing and loud concerts and noise. And, you know, I'm just a more zen-like person where, you know, it's like just boom, let's go on an adventure. Boom, let's do this. Let's do that. You know, so I feel like Scorpio, that's what you kind of bring out in people here. Jesus. The Nine of Wands was the only one that flipped up here. 
Then we have the King of Wands. All right. So keep pushing towards Scorpio. Why a lot of fire up in here? Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign or vice versa. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you're here to like lead the masses. All right. You're here to open people's eyes and lead the way. You you hold the torch, Scorpio. Yeah, we have the magician here. You know how to work magic. You know how to create. You know how to manifest. You know how to move and shift energy and harness it. And it's almost like I'm getting like monk energy here. Um, God, what is that called? Oh, I can't think of it here, but it's like you are here to awaken people so they can see the reality that you can manifest, create, and do all this as long as you just focus on growing and evolving. And by the way you're going to do that is seeing the lighter side of life. That's key. All right? It's like the, you have a desire to want to lead. Lead by example. Share your vision. Share your truth. You have the freaking empress here. All right? Beautiful. Yeah. And people listen to you. Ace of Cups. You wake things up in people. There are emotions here. All right. You hit them on an emotional level. All right. So let's wrap this up here for Scorpio. You may have sparked somebody's feelings to a lover. Right. I feel like you two can create and manifest a beautiful world. You guys can like reinvent the world. You can shift it, recreate it. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. With the chariot. With the star. With the high priestess. Wow. So there could be a reunion on the horizon, or you might reunite with your soulmate. Possible flame, which is rare, but we have Pisces, Aquarius, Cancerian, Taurus, Gemini, Aries. But yeah, it's like, I feel like you teach a lot. People look up to you. All right. It's a very abundant life. But it's like, there is just so much like blissful energy here. All right. Last one. For Scorpio. I know I said that, but... All right. The Ten of Pentacles. You're leaving your legacy here, so it carries on. People will honor and remember you and the things that you have taught and you continue to teach. You have instincts like a lion. You lead with the torch. And you wear the crown. Yeah, some of you guys might have some freaking fire in your chart here with the King of Wands, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, the Emperor, the Nine of Wands. Or maybe that's this friend. Wow, we have the Three of Wands here with the Temperance. All right, some of you guys may have Sag. All right, Three of Cups here. So I feel like What's going on here is you've really grown and expanded. The more you grow and expand, the more you merge on the path that you belong on with the people that belong into your life here. The temperance knows how to pave the path. It's about having good judgment, patience. Patience is a virtue. You're like an angel. You're like a beacon of light. You People see like wings. And a bright light above you when they think about you, when they see you. You just have an angelic energy. You've got the sun and the moon perfectly balanced and you sit between it. It's that you have very good energy work. You can do beautiful energy work. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull some animals here for you, Scorpio. All right. But yeah, it's like, this is a beautiful situation. It's a beautiful love if you're dealing with someone. Um, some of you, you just kind of... You know, yes, yeah, because, well, Sag is Gemini's polar opposite, but this is really sticking out. Some of you Scorpios have Sag in your chart. You know, and depending on sidereal astrology versus Western, your signs can change. So look into that if you're feeling a strong pull to this. 
Some of you guys may even have that as a tattoo. Yeah. But it's like, you have the sun and the moon on both sides, one on each side of you. You're intuitive. Yeah, you're opening up heart chakras. You're making people feel. Opening up that mind here with, wow, these three were here. Yeah. Y'all see clearly. All right, you're teaching people. You're showing people. With the owl and the porcupine. So pay attention to those. All right, whether you see them on billboards, t-shirts, commercials, wherever. All right, whether it's in real life or not. I just saw the spider. You're opening up people's minds and hearts. You're hitting them on an emotional level, and that's important. We have the rabbit, which would be you, like um, transformation and almost... Or not the rabbit, I was thinking of the butterfly, but now is a lucky time. All right, luck is in your favor. We have the grasshopper. We have here the bat with the rebirth. All right, I feel like there's still something else here. 49, 48, and 43s, yeah. It's like you're very stable. It's that emperor energy. You're here to structure people. Show them strength. Show them discipline. And what it gets you in life. Things are coming in. All right. It's going to be a lucky period for you. There's the spider. I knew it wanted to be here. Right. Making your dreams real. Just surrender and focus on the lighter side of life, Scorpio. Number 56 and 39. All right. So just surrender. Magic works and flows through you, Scorpio. All right. So... You're like the scarab beetle in the moth, you know, just leaving it in the hands of the divine and just enjoying life, rolling with life, rolling with whatever comes your way. No resistance, nothing, nada. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. You guys have a good day.